okay let me say this and someone may believe I am pointing them out, which I don't believe I am. I believe what I am going to say came to my thoughts today. And I don't think it was exactly motivated by that person. Okay. I think some people want to get married, right? I believe so. Okay. I think many of us have been hurt, right? I have. Okay. Some of us, I think, can deal with or have dealt with that pain in a good way, okay? Some people may still be having trouble with dealing with that pain, okay? And you may say, what is your point? Give me time. <laughs> Give me time, please. Okay. Let's say I was with a woman two years ago. And let's say she cheated on me she told me I was too black or something. Let's say uh, she stole my money, cheated on me, um, wrecked my car, would yell at me, curse at me, and do other very bad things. Okay, let's say I get a new woman. And let's call that woman Deborah. All right. Let's say I am treating Deborah based upon what my past ex girlfriend did to me. Let's say I am yelling at Deborah. I have so much of a mistrust for Deborah, like, you know, I am checking her receipts and uh, going to her job, <laughs> checking to see if she is there. Let's say I am like, have these thoughts in my mind that she is doing wrong and acting upon them, let's say I am not so much treating Deborah for what she is doing, but for the pain that I received in the past and still am dealing with. Let's say I am treating her rudely and meanly because of what I am going through and how can I say that? Because of what I received from my ex-girlfriend. Okay. If I was that way, if I was that way, I should not be in a relationship. And you may say to me, Kevin, what do you think I should do? I mean, you may say, Kevin, what do you believe you should do if you was that way? Okay. 
if I was that way, let me get out of a relationship and get time and give myself time to heal. What is wrong with healing? Kevin, I want a good man. Kevin, I want a good woman. Okay. But if you are not good yourself, if you have many bad qualities about yourself, if you get with a man or woman, won't you hurt that person? What if that person is not strong enough to take your stuff, to take your behavior? Won't that person become bad as well? And let's say you all break up. Now, that woman or man is bad now. Now, they may treat their next girlfriend or boyfriend bad because of you. Now, there may be this train of hurting people. How can, how can I say that? Now, there may be a train of hurting people moving around, I guess I can say, because of you. If you can't submit to a man, don't get married. This is my opinion. If you can't treat a woman right, don't get married. Kevin, I don't want to be with only one woman or one man. Don't get married. What? Like, back in the past, there was a time when I did not want to be with one woman. Guess what? I did not get married. Okay, I was a bad guy. Okay. I don't think I ever said, hey, I am looking for a good woman while I am a bad guy. Back in my past, I just wanted to have fun to a certain extent, I guess I can say. I was not thinking of settling down. What? And let me get to my point. If you see yourself as an independent woman, strong woman, or whatever you want to call it, men, if you see yourself as a player or a man that wants to be with multiple women, don't get married. If you are still hurting and reacting rudely, aggressively to people because of what you went through, don't get married yet. Because if you are emotionally unstable, you should not Honestly, this is my opinion. I believe you should not get married yet. Yes, I believe we all have problems. I believe I have problems. <laughs> I believe so. But I am not going around yelling at people. Well, at least not much. I am not cursing people. Cursing people out, I mean, you know, punching people, throwing glasses and cups at people. I am not doing those things. I believe in the Bible, if you read in the New Testament, 
I forget where I read it, maybe in 1 Corinthians or I don't know. Or was it 2 Corinthians? Somewhere, I believe it was saying something like, If you can't wait to have sex, get married. And I kind of agree with Paul in that area at the same time. I guess you can do that, but in my opinion, which I don't know a, a whole lot, I believe you will be setting yourself up for failure if you are emotionally unstable and enter into a relationship at least tell the woman or man hey i am messed up so if you get with me expect many problems but i will try to change at least tell that person that okay do you understand what I am trying to say? I am not trying to offend anyone because what do I profit from that? I am just, or pretty much, I guess I can say, I am pretty much trying to help you. Me, there are things I have to change. I believe I have to be more of a loving person and caring person and patient person, so on and so on. So I have to change more. So if I do get married, I want to be able to treat whoever that woman is in a good way. I believe in the Bible as well. I don't know exactly where it is at. I believe it is in the New Testament. I think it says something like, my prayers or a man's prayers will be hindered if they aren't treating their wives right. So if I don't treat my wife right, if I had one, my prayers can be hindered. What? I don't want that. So let me stop here. God bless you.